Hello guys, uh, welcome to the channel, uh, welcome to Radku Tarot, it's Rad and uh, first of all I want to apologize a bit that uh, I couldn't bring this uh, feed to you live. Uh, well, the reason being is that uh, I'm not at home, obviously, you know, there is a change of scenery, I'm at my parents place and uh, it's, it's four hours drive, so when I come came here for the month of March, uh, I haven't brought myself the spotlights and uh, this camera that I'm using for recording, unfortunately, I cannot make it work uh, to do live feeds. I can't, but it, it, it's very, it stutters the image and that's not a quality I want to bring you. So that being said, I had no choice but to record it instead of make it live. Uh, that being said, going to the uh, readings now, uh, this is going to be uh, 12 readings in one video, going from Aries to Pisces, three cards per star sign, and it's going to be elemental dignities uh, type of reading. So you can expect more of a yeah, guidance for the, um, for the future couple of weeks that are marked under the uh, full moon in uh, Libra. So uh, it was in Libra, right? Uh, one second, kind of feel, yeah, well, checking doesn't hurt. It's the full moon in Libra. So yeah, that being said, going to Aries first, uh, let, me, uh, let me shuffle here. And uh, while I'm shuffling once again, um, to remind you that if you want a, a personal reading, you can check out the website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And uh, there on the very front page, you're going to find full list of my services as well. There are pricings, which are starting from uh, just as little as uh, $12. So if you want an insight upon your uh, personal situation, that is the way you go. All right, so that being said, Aries is the prime card for Aries. This is going to be the Six of, uh, the six of Wands with uh, the accompanied catalyst of the Knight of Wands. And then we do have the Ten of Cups, just like that. Oh, one second. Okay, so just like that, these three. So uh, what it seems here, Aries, is, is that uh, there will be... Um, I can't say really cooperation, but let's say you are to be introduced by a person into your uh, surroundings, into your environment, or a completely new guy or a girl that, em that embarks your environment and your social circle into some amusing things that are going to entrow you in many ways. Now, if you do see, if you do observe that formation here, which is the Six of uh, Wands and the Ten of Cups, that formation is uh, active, uh, active enemies, which means that at the start, you may not really kind of like see it, uh, not enthralling, but the word here would be um, efficient, maybe. In a way of that, uh, how can I explain it? You may see these enterprises as a waste of time, although in the same time, you would really want to explore the situation. And it's highly advisable to do so because with the Six of Wands on a prime position here, Aresis, it does look like that you are going to reach a severe, severe milestone exploring the enterprises given to you by this person here, which is the Knights of Wands. It could be a man, it could be a woman as well. And the results of it are going to be a thing that is going to be remembered as well. So, cumulatively speaking, for that... Um, a lunar cycle here, which is, uh, let me check the dates, it's the 21st, it starts on the 21st and it ends on the new moon in Aries is on the 5th of April. So from 21st to, uh, from 20th to um, 5th of April, from 20th of March to 5th of April, once again, there, are, there is going to be a person who is going to introduce you to very gainingful and amusing enterprises, which are to require, however, from you to have a little bit of a leap of faith, to step out of your comfort zone and to dapple your hands a little bit with uh, dirt. It's not even going to be really a dirt, but more like a uh, un unwanting circumstances if I may express myself that way but in general it's going to be a very very productive uh, cycle for your career and love life as well as um, 
you know, that uh, that guy or girl it could have as well a romantic interest. It does uh, come to that how interesting you are. If you show yourself versatile and very interesting to this person, there could be as well an emotional att attachment there in uh, in this um, cooperation, if I may express myself uh, that way. So that was uh, for Aries. Now let me shuffle and we can go to Taurus and see what Taurus is to uh, experience for throughout uh, the new moon in Lib the full moon in Libra. March 20th to April 5th, 2019. All right, so the first card for Taurus, is, which is the prime card here, that is going to be the Empress, followed by the uh, Five of Wands, which is a catalyst, and then we do have the Nine of Wands, that is the other catalyst, so these, uh, these three here, guys. So uh, the formation in either of the sides, it's uh, passive neutrals, so it does look like that for Taurus, this is going to be a best thing that they keep themselves quiet and plan, 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 whatever they want to do. Now, it is very important here to acknowledge that uh, you do have the time to uh, cook the circumstances in a best way that is going to serve you in a best way, if that made, uh, if that made sense, sense. But what is important here for you throughout this uh, cycle, Taurus, is, is whenever you do have an important decision to make, that decision needs to be founded on a mature um mature convictions and as well determination so a uh, best way you can approach really really important situation like uh, deciding what you should do with your relationship or what you should do in with your career as well is to detach from the situation now involving yourself more into the situation uh, than you are actually in is going to provoke this formation here so it's kind of like clash clashes of ideas arguments competition as well and that is going to truly diverse you from the standpoint that you would usually take if you detach yourself from it if you want to say seclude yourself as well so you can um, you can define for yourself what is going to be the best possible um, the best possible decision and the best possible course of action because throughout you have to be very important for throughout these couple of weeks as whatever you are to sown is going to be reaped in the future either good or bad and uh, that's why you have to be very meticulous with whatever decision you make either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship. Now, through patience, you are likely to improve the circumstances in either of those fields. But also what these cards are saying is that if you are kind of like cooperating or interacting with someone who is finding themselves in really, really rough time, a little kindness as well is going to go a, a long, long run. Uh, one thing more I want to say about these cards, guys, is that um, if there is a villain around you, an antagonist that wants to uh, bring you down in any way, you know, that really mean guy or a girl into uh, your working place or someone into your social circle that is constantly spreading rumors, gossips and so on and so forth. Uh, it looks like that you are going to find the right measures how to counteract their actions, uh, the, their, their noxious actions towards you, and therefore you are going to get the upper hand at the end. But once again, it all comes to that how well you're going to make your decisions. And the best way you can do an inaccurate decision is to uh, once again detach yourself from the midst of, of activities for a couple of days just to uh, analyze thoroughly the situation and then with a, a very mature approach to um, stir drive into your actions. So that was uh, for Taurus's now going to Gemini.
All right, so the first card for Gemini is going to be the Four of Wands. Uh, the second card, which is a Catalyst, this is going to be the uh, M, uh, no, the High Priestess. And the third card as a Catalyst is going to be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Wands. So formations, we do have a active uh, supporters and we do have active uh, active enemies. So uh, these cards are screaming one thing, guys, and the time of actions has come. Now, this lunar cycle, the uh, full moon into Libra, is a cycle where you have to capitalize and finalize an important cycle of life, important cycle into your relationship or into your career. Although with this formation, probably we're talking more about career. So uh, there are important matters there uh, into your situations, either career or relationship wise, which needs to be addressed. Simply, you cannot overlook them any longer. That is displayed here by these couple of cards. Whatever it is hidden is going to be uncovered and needs to be addressed. So you can expect as well a major secret to resurface here throughout these couple of weeks, you know, or to uh, bump into a, a very, very significant uh, insight that it, it kind of reveals a, a substantial um, option available for you that you can uh, completely traverse a, a poignant and despondent situation into your favor. But whatever uh, the case is for you, Geminis, even if you're finding single and deprived from having, you know, kind of like a, a love life and so on and so forth, these cards here are pointing that should you not uh, stay at home, you know, and do whatever you can to socialize with people, you are to be very, very attractive for the society in general. And that is to attract suitors. Now, how you are going to act on those suitors and how you're going to take on this uh, on these meetings and, introdu in, and introductions and so on and so forth, it does depend entirely on you. But should you kind of like involve yourself with parties, celebrations and try to experience life from the side of joy, you know, like once again, partying and being carefree, you know, and not turning down on a uh, invitation for a date or for just social gathering, then things are going to go very well for your intimate and private life in general. Now, career-wise, um, there is nothing uh, nothing bad about it, apart from that, that you, it's, now it's time to act, to initiate, to, to stir a, an important project, because throughout these couple of weeks, the uh, on your side is the acute business sense as well the sense of how to capitalize on resources and as well how to um oh, one second guys um and as well um as well how to utilize people which are your followers so very very productive uh, couple of weeks for you gemini's in either of the fronts but the these cards said for either relationship or career and may mainly for career the time for planning the time for just waiting and so on and so forth the time of passiveness is over and you now have to pick up your ass and start doing something you know initiate that either plan or yearning of yours or or, or, or whatever it's just you got to do something to improve your circumstances because now you're going to have the means to do so now, next one, uh, that is going to be uh, Cancer. Guy, okay, I really miss talking with you guys. It's... I, it feels so empty when I am recording this instead of making it live. I, it really feels so empty. But yeah, ca Cancers, we do have the Eight of Swords as a main card, followed by the Star card, which is uh, one of the Catalysts and the second Catalyst here. This is going to be uh, the uh, Seven of Wands. So you do have a major blockage. Uh, for what it seems in that blockage, it is uh, created by other people. Uh, simply someone, uh, well, basically what these cards are pointing is that someone is standing on the way of your uh, of your dream or of your goal. 
and you need uh, additional support you do need help to overcome that person or a, a society of people which are standing on your way so what you need to do is start looking outside of the box if that makes sense and start see seeking for a help or for a, a support from uh from those kind of people which hate the people that are uh that are stopping you uh you can take the sentence here the enemy of my enemy is my friend and it is exactly what you need to do if you want to have um how can i place it a chances in the near future meaning next couple of weeks to truly make some progress regarding your goals and regarding your achievements the formation here is good, which means uh, it's active supporters here. So the star supports the uh, the eight of swords and vice versa. It means that your goal that's worth it. But the other formation, which is active uh, friends, it kind of obscuring it. It's stopping it. It doesn't give um, or kind of like it placing a, a, low, an, a, a wall and a blockage the star to manifest. Uh, especially with the Eight of Swords on a prime position, which means that you really need to find help how to overcome the blockage that others have placed upon you. Now, this blockage, it could be created by some uh, rumors that are spreading uh, for your name, discrediting you in any way. You know, for example, you want to be involved into this really, really good project but a co-worker of yours kind of like dappled your name with dirt in front of uh, your boss and that's why your boss feels apprehensive to give you that project and so on and so forth. I, I basically, you, you need here support, you need credits, you need someone to vouch for you and so on and so forth. But um, in reality, guys, if you go uh, a little bit out of your way here, for example, put your pride on the shelf and really ask for help where help can be uh, can be given. It does look like that you are going to overcome these uh, these temporary blockages. Additionally to that, with these uh, three cards, it does look like that you are going to have a huge opening for throughout the week to do something. I don't know what you are after, but whatever you are after and it isn't working right now, once again, you're going to have a, a huge opening to do so, but it will require your readiness for action and uh, the, the, the determination in generally to uh, to scope the moment so be on your watch and for example you want to date with uh, with someone but you can't uh, but you can't find a chance to ask them out or to to talk with them or anything and uh, throughout these couple of weeks you may get the chance to do so but you need to be decisive very very decisive and ready to uh, ready to act it's going it's going to cut you off surprise though just just be aware of it so it's going to be a surprising, surprising event. That's why you need to have always that readiness to jump into action. Right. So next one uh, is going to be a Leo. Alright, so the first card for Leo, this is going to be the Seven of Swords, the, the Prime card here. The Catalyst for Leo, this is going to be the Ten of uh, Cups. And the uh, last one, or the second Catalyst that we do have, this is going to be the Tree of Wands. So it does look like that, Leo, you have to be the Lonely Wolf for throughout these couple of weeks. And uh, basically the Maxima here is that if you don't ask for it, the answer always, always is going to be no. So uh, basically, you got to step for your personal rights, guys, for your only rights, storm your situation simply and demand for what you deserve and for what you have been owned. It may not be a, a typical behavior of yours. This is displayed here in this formation, which is a active uh, neutrals. And uh, some of you Leos will prefer, you know, to lay low and not to provoke any wrangles or any confrontations here. Just, you know, some of you are maybe prone to have just peace, even if that peace means that you're not going to get what you deserve. But some of you going to the other formation, which is um, 
active friends, it does point the dare to establish very, very solid patterns on their behalf. Patterns into either one relationship, like rearranging the rules into one relationship, rearranging the, uh, the responsibilities, meaning you transferring some of your responsibilities to your husband, wife or partner uh, in case, you know, you're doing everything into that relationship and then from there having it harmoniously proceeding forward. Same goes into career in generally, should you be brave, you know, and just kind of like don't back off from your from your stand standpoint and follow your goal then uh there will be a, a new field of conquest here with the tree of uh, wands it's important here to recognize however that improvement from now on as you're sitting on an established patterns like relationship like career can be achieved only through challenges and that means you have to place for yourself bigger challenges so aim for that bigger position aim for that bigger uh project aim for that bigger person to be with and so on and so forth simply lift the bar of your personal expectations lift the bar of your personal criteria as well and one more thing with these cards leo it is unlikely that someone is going to catch you off guard lying to you it's simply you are going to smell the lie from a miles away and the only thing that you can get deceived is if you lie to yourself, meaning that, that is just an example, you know, uh, your partner tells you that they ain't cheating on you, but in the same time, you kind of like, logically, you when you construct the situation, you kind of define for yourself that they did that. So you either trust your logic or you trust their words. Trusting their words means, you know, that you deceive yourself. What I mean is that your logic here is going to be bulletproof for throughout these couple of weeks. And uh, it's, it's simply you have to trust your your logic and your deduction upon, um, upon proofs and arguments and um, circumstances at all. So uh, that was Leo now going to uh, Virgo. All right, so the first card for Virgo that is going to be the hangman followed by the uh, second, uh, followed by the catalyst here, which is the six of uh, cups. And the second catalyst that we do have for Virgo that is going to be the uh, two of swords, a very, very comfortable uh, position it is what Virgo are going to have for throughout the next couple of weeks. And the whole thing is created by that formation here. So, uh, very likely to be happy where you're finding yourself at and willing to move forward because you are going to be satisfied with the standpoint that you are to obtain either career-wise or either relationship-wise nor that you need to move to be honest because of that formation which is a passive neutrals it simply points that even if you are baffled about a certain thing, about a specific thing, guys, uh, or you, you are apprehensive of taking any decision, how you should react upon your career or upon your relationship in any way, uh, these cards are pointing that the more you wait uh, to see uh, which is best, uh, the more the most positive decision is going to become obvious for you. So basically what these cards here are pointing is to enjoy your current positions and your current situations here with that formation, because life, um, even if you are facing a difficult situation, either career or relationship wise, uh, life is going to take on a different turn on its own accord. And it is best right now not to make any major moves on your behalf, because in a couple of weeks, maybe everything is going to be different. And at that point, a different decisions are going to be more accurate than the decisions that you are uh, going to take right now. Not in a, a major role, you know, or in a major way, but there will be definitely a different circumstances which are going to be more um, nourishing for your behalf. So, for example, if you have decided to file for a divorce, 
maybe it will be wise to wait for a couple of weeks and while you do so you know you enjoy yourself with friends with hobbies and these kind of stuff because maybe a new kind of an information or circumstances is, is, are going to come around which are going to give you a, a better angle to file a divorce for or you know new arguments and so on and so forth that you can even get more from the accom accommodations uh, there. Same goes for career in generally this week for you Virgos asks you to truly enjoy your achievements and your blessings as well because if you think that you don't have any get any blessings well then this reading asks you to guess again and just to look around yourself because you may have the best friend ever, you may have the best relationship ever, and it's simply, I know that it kind of sounds a little, a little bit generic here, guys, but you gotta be grateful for where you're finding yourself at, because there are definitely places that you can uh, find yourself much worse. And as a very good friend of mine says, says when something is good is good, when something is bad, it always can get worse, so don't pull the, t the devil for uh, his tail. It is uh, something we got into our um, into our country as a sentence, meaning do not challenge faith and just be grateful for what you got and enjoy it for throughout these uh, couple of weeks. And one more thing I wanna say here, especially regarding relationships, uh, try, if your relationship is going in a really bad way or goes, try to make the final attempt to uh, embark emotional connections there it does look like very favorable week for you to do so so give it a, a last final chance and those who are in already good relationship it does look like that is going to get even deeper and deeper on the side of being you know an, an awesome experience so that being said going to libra now So the first card for Libra that is going to be the World card, followed by the second one, which is the Ten of Swords. And then what we do have, this is going to be the Ace of Cups. So for what it seems, guys, this is a, a brand new era in your life, kind of like a new beginning, really. Uh, the formation here is uh, Passive Enemies, and here is the Passive Friends. So what we do have is one thing ends, another thing starts. It is a very, very strong reading about that. And it does look like a, a very, very beautiful new, new perspective. We do have the ending here, a really stressful and kind of like premature ending where people do suffer a bit, all right? But in the same time, it is kind of diminished by the Ace of Cups in the World card, which points for the new perspective, exhilarating one really... Um, looking forward to kind of perspective and a thing that completely makes the suffering here from the Ten of Swords completely, completely irrelevant. Um, so, uh, it's just it's just what I can tell you guys here with these three cards is to um, basically look forward for the goodness that is about to happen to you in this week. Those who are jobless are to find a very good job. Should they take them or not? Well, that is entirely their uh, their decision. Same goes for your uh, for your kind of relationship. Now, now when we are talking about relationships here uh, with these three cards, Libras, it does look like that uh, this couple of weeks here, full moon into, uh, into Libra, does give you the chance to truly seek forgiveness and to give forgiveness. It's all about giving a forgiveness with these couple of cards now this formation it's you giving you the the the, the, the decision here of sh uh, should you make or break things okay you do have the ultimate power to uh, materialize or to destroy things and that's why you got to use it wisely and here with these formations you got to look toward the future rather, rather rather than toward the past so let's say you do have a um, and an ex who is into your life right now or it's just you are married and uh, your wife you are not getting along uh, very well together because of something that happened in the past well these couple of weeks are the weeks where you have to just sort that thing out live through it drink through it you know suffer through it whatever so you can uh, kind of like 
heal yourself from the situation and move toward with a, a pure pure law formation there and uh, it's, it's simply as that career wise as well you have to kind of like shake yourself off previous poignant experiences in your previous jobs into your uh, with previous co-workers from previous failures as well and just look forward for this new exhilarating exhilarating opportunity that is to give you a new direct direction in, in life so for Libra this uh, full moon in Libra actually gives you the ending and the beginning of a new at the ending of one poignant era and the beginning of a new exhilarating era in one of your fields of your life that could be a relationship it could be career friendship you name it you know but it's just it's gonna be just only one thing okay so it's either going to be either into your career or either into your relationship it will be different for every single different libra but you should look forward to that major major improvement it should take place in the most poignant uh field of life uh, of life of yours so next one uh that is going to be scorpio Okay, so Scorpios, the first card for you guys that is going to be uh, the um, Justice. Then the next one that is going to be the King of Swords. And the last one that we do have that is going to be the Seven of uh, the Seven of Pentacles. Just like that. So what it seems is that uh, throughout these couple of weeks, you are to analyze what is wrong with your situation in general, either career or relationship wise. And through this analysis, the way out of difficulties is going to be presented to you, but it's not going to be an easy way. All right. So it's one thing for you Scorpio to realize what you gotta do in order to overcome your difficulties either into your marriage or in if in my case into my career all right and to overcome them as well now acute discipline is, is required as well I kind of like self accountability also it is the it, it is required basically what you got to do for throughout these uh, couple of weeks and what is going to happen for you guys in in the next couple of weeks is that you're going to recognize where you do mistakes and what you're doing wrong and how you can um, how you can overcome it, how you can, you can correct it in general. Uh, a big finger into it, it could be, it could have this person, if that's not you, all right? That person could point you what you do wrong and how you can improve it in many ways because, and especially if that's a person, um, their strategy, uh, it could be business advisor or medical doctor, you know, uh, a manager as well and so on. It could be as well your... Um, your supervisor, couples therapist, you name it. Basically, their advices are truly can transform your actions in a very, very effect, effective uh, fashion. And even if that's not a person, but that's you who are realizing how to overcome the setbacks that one is experiencing either into career or in relationship, uh, then whatever you analyze and with whatever plan you come up with, um, it's going to be a very, very effective strategy. But with this formation here, right, cutting corners, it's, uh, it's, how can I place it? Cutting corners, it's something uh, unacceptable. Uh, and as well, uh, you have to realize that it all depends on you guys. Or we do have to realize that with this formation here, all depends on us. If we, if we work hard, we're going to make money. If we are gentle in our relationships, we're going to receive love. But one thing is certain with these cards, uh, it's that no one owes, owns us anything more than we contribute to them as well. So don't take things for granted. That relates to you, Scorpios. It relates to me as well as Scorpio. This is justice, guys. And justice serves everybody what they deserve. So if you slack no money, you know, if you're rude in your relationship, well, then you can expect the same from the other side as well. So 
if you with this formation especially the seven of uh, pentacles in the uh, justice card whatever you are experiencing it is because you have a finger in it and it is because you brought it there one way or another but don't worry guys there is a way to fix it and that way will be uncovered for us uh, in the next couple of weeks through a careful analysis of uh, uh, of our previous actions so don't be afraid to uh, to put your uh, to put your work or to put your uh, your performance in relationship under careful analysis and self criticism as well it will help tremendously so uh, next one this is going to be uh, Sagittarius All right, so Sagittarius, is, we do have the Lover's card as a prime card, the um, one catalyst that is going to be the World card, and the next catalyst here, uh, this is going to be the Two of uh, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, these couple of cards on their own, a very positive one, everybody knows that, but in formation they form active, uh, active enemies. Uh, simply what these cards are pointing is that it isn't over, uh, whatever whatever that relates to in your life, it could relate to your relationship, it could relate to your career as well, it simply says it's, it isn't over. You may think it is, alright, you may think to uh, make that clean break with the past, but in these couple of weeks it is yet a major decision in front of you and you have to make it in a harmonious fashion with yourself meaning that no compromises with yourself should be done for uh it will be different for every single one of you sagittarius some of you may uh, may be more materially orientated and that make them that that will make them do whatever they have to do some of you guys may be more emotionally orientated oriented and that will make them do what they want to do um, in either case there will be pros and cons and what is important here to know is as well that there won't be a uh, right or wrong decision as well with the lover's card but you have to be very determined whatever decision you make uh, with this formation which is another active uh, enemies card it does mean that uh, you cannot bail, bail on it for example uh, you recently broke up with your wife or you separated with your wife, with your girlfriend or with, with your boyfriend and uh, in these couple of weeks they come back, they, asks you, they ask you to, uh, to reconcile and when you say yes or no, that is going to be your final answer. After that, there won't be any easy way bailing out of it in the near future at least not for a lifetime but in the near future so you have to be very sure what you want to do additionally to that um, some matters uh, which turn out badly for you and you and you thought well, that is that there is no uh, how can I place it uh, there is no redemption regarding them are going to resolve in a positive way uh, for example someone took money from you as a loan and they kind of like disappear vanished so you kind of scratch those money out uh and you adopted the standpoint that these money are never going to be returned back to you well these couple of weeks may be your lucky couple of weeks because that person may come around with the money that they have on you so basically uh it's uh, it's a two it's a couple of weeks period of time where a um Poignantly resolved matters could turn out in a uh, positive way. It's gonna be a random. Uh, it's gonna be a random event, though. So don't just think of that for every single Sagittarius. The money that they have basically scratched off are going to be uh, are going to be returned. All right, but yeah, you can expect some unex you can expect some unexpected turnarounds on already resol uh, resolved uh, poignantly. Um, poignantly resolved matters next one uh, that is going to be capricorn
So the first card for Capricorn that is going to be Three of Pentacles, which is the prime uh, card, followed by the Catalyst of the Ace of Swords. And the next Catalyst that we do have, this is going to be the Queen of Swords. Uh, that's a bit difficult to be interpreted. Now, uh, we do both formations are passive, uh, passive enemies. And uh, simply what the card it is uh, pointing to you guys is that uh, you basically have to um, not seek retribution, if I may express myself that way. It's just retribution ain't going to bring you a good results in, in any kind of way. Uh, but in generally, these cards are pointing that whatever experience you had, especially career-wise and even love life, uh, love-wise from the past, uh, which you felt like either abandoned, you know, or mistreated or, or something like this, uh, should be taken under consideration, yes, and you should build your future around it, but around the uh, around the experience, not around that, uh, not around the situations. So, giving you an example, that um, co-worker of yours kind of like make these nefarious acts against you. There is no point retributing them uh, right now because no one is going to win. It's just you know uh, learn your lesson that you kind of like you are way over trusty, for example, and next time around when you are to give your help or when you are to give your signature for that matter, uh, you know, you're going to be a little bit more careful. Same goes regarding uh, relationships. But what uh, the prime reason of these cards is that you are to receive some sort of a new, uh, new sort of support for throughout the next uh, couple of weeks, which is going to be very, very different from what you are used to. It could be a new skill that you are going to develop, or it could be a new uh, a new wisdom that you are going to uh, adopt as well from a people that you haven't met yet, or kind of like you haven't associated yourself with. But um, this is going to be a week of a fruitful conversations, you know, and fruitful cooperation for that matter. And through that, you are going to learn a great deal of new things. Uh, these new things are going to be very different from your previous experience. And that's why it's going to be important for you Capricorns to uh, account the previous experience. One second, guys, I have to unplug my computer. So it, it's going to be a very important to account your previous experience, Capricorns, but you should not judge yourself according to it. So it's kind of like it seems a couple of weeks where you improve yourself skill-wise and wisdom-wise as well. So uh, next one, this is going to be uh, Aquarius. The uh, Hermit card is the prime card for you guys, then followed by the uh, Nine of Swords, which is the first catalyst, and the Page of Pentacles, it is the next, the second catalyst. So the formations, we do have passive enemies, then we do have passive supporters. Well, there is a uh, very practical way to interpret those cards, and uh, in one way they are to mean that uh, you are either to redate someone or a, a friend of yours or that you have considered being friends is, gonna is going to want to date with you. Although if that's the case, there will be some things that are, um, that are basically sitting on the path of you doing so. Now, even if it does look like scary a little bit, in reality, there is, there is not much that you should be afraid of, especially of the opinion of the others, that is with these couple of cards. But in, in a more superficial way, or rather like in a more uh, general um, 
way of interpreting these cards. Uh, these the next couple of weeks are going to be a couple of, are going to be a weeks where you guys are going to um, embark on a new road or a new path in your life, kind of like changing either your lifestyle or changing your job as well, or even, you know, changing the way you do things in general, because these couple of cards here are pointing that you are to start doing something very, very substantial in your life, which is uh, founded on a great amount of intellect and a great amount of intelligence, excuse me, and a great amount of wisdom as well, that is going to make you take on a, a very, very long um, established direction or rather like a, a path that takes a, a long way to walk and even if there is no one there to applaud you to, to support you you are going to know that this is your thing this is your goal uh, this is you know this is something you are meant to do so whatever uh, you start doing in the next couple of uh, weeks, which kind of like looks like your calling, it's definitely something that will require a lot of devotion and as well, you know, a, a lot of tenacity to proceed on thought. Uh, so it will be best at that point if you kind of don't pay attention to what other people wants from you or what other people tells you and especially uh, of uh, these kind of like negative uh, negative impressions that people usually uh, try to incorporate into those who are trying to do something uh, something for them uh, something for themselves excuse me uh, in a way like uh, let's say that you want to uh, start a new business and everybody uh, or the majority of people around you start telling are starting to tell you you know how tough it is and then and, and how you can fail and these kind of stuff you know so don't don't pay attention of what the others tells you because the because the hermit is all about uh making your goal matter so rather like making your aim to be the uh, the most important thing in your life so if your aim is to be with one specific person who cares what uh, what the rest are to say. Let's say that you are associating yourself with the same social circle over and over again for, let's say, a couple of years or maybe five years, and suddenly you wind up girl there, uh, decide to start dating and everybody is saying, oh my God, how they could do that. Now the social circle isn't gonna be the same and so on and so forth. You shouldn't care about that at all. I mean, what, what the rest think. That's uh, that's my point. So uh, a, a very self, uh, a big self confidence is my point here. It is required from you, uh, Aquarius, in the next couple of weeks to uh, take on a, a very, very, like I said, you know, intelligently and uh, wisdom-like uh, defined direction and paths in your life where you are to focus on what is substantial. There, it is time to stop to think what is substantial for the others. It's my point. It start. It is time for you to start to think what is substantial for yourself. And uh, last but not least, guys, uh, we go to Pisces. So let's see what the fish is about to experience. All right. So uh, the first card for Pisces, the prime card, this is going to be the four of wands, followed by the catalyst of the uh, six of cups. And the last catalyst, the second catalyst that we do have, this is going to be the uh, ace of pentacles. So uh, Pisces, the formations we do have for you, one is active enemies, the other is active neutrals. So uh, these three cards here, guys, are pointing uh, that you are on the finish line of something very important in your life, either relationship-wise or career-wise. It is just the last, um, the last, uh, well, it's not the last line, but rather like the last few steps or something extremely tough for you to do. So uh, it's not like difficult tough, but more like unpleasant tough, right? Probably you think that there are better things for you to do. But the thing is, uh, Pisces, that you went so far is going to be a shame right now not to finish it. Giving you an example straight away with my, with, uh, uh, with people that I know, kind of like let's say that uh, you are um, in a university, you finish all of your semesters, you have a couple of exams to take and you just don't don't care to take them. I mean, you think that it doesn't worth the hassle to do so. I know such people. 
Um, I was like that for many time, <laughs> to be honest, for a long, long time, to be honest. So yeah, it's it's basically the, throughout these couple of week Pisces, you will have to aim to uh, to finalize. Um, important things in your life as much as you can, like uh, um, disagreements into your relationship, like disagreements into your career as well, or, or projects into your career. The thing is, here with these um, uh, with these active neutrals, uh, it does look like that you do have different things to focus on as well, and some of them are going to be very, very amusing. But uh, the the problem with these three cards, guys, is that should you focus on the newness right now without set sorting out the uh what is lingering at this very moment further down the road when the uh when the moment is very decisive those unsorted issues those unsorted disagreements for example with your wife or husband or with your uh, colleagues or these uh minor details in the project are going to cause severe difficulties and severe setbacks as well so it's best right now to use these couple of weeks you know to finalize those um cycles of development to attend to the to the important matters in there and uh, truly give your best you know to settle the, the to settle the score or to resolve the issue uh, regardless of how unpleasant it looks like uh, another example of that is let's say that uh, you are going through a divorce and it's um, it all comes to that to settle an agreement with your wife or with your husband, but you are so disgusted of them that you don't want to speak with them at all. Well, it's gonna take a phone call, you know. And th despite that you really hate to do that, you gotta do it so you can just finalize the thing. So for for such kind of a situations I'm talking about, and uh, you have to aim these couple of weeks to sort all of them uh, out because it's it's gonna be a favorable favorable time to do so and you don't want these things uh, these minor details to escalate further down the road the road when you do have that rare opportunity to further your goal whatever your goal is so that being said everybody thank you for watching that was the full moon in libra uh, tarot taroscope tarot report you name it or tarot guidance I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, uh, if you want a, a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of uh, this video. And there on the very front page, you can find full list of my services and as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.